Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Locked In Garage. I'm James Smith and I'll be your host for today. Well, I'm going to put this video together. I had an opportunity to review a car, uh, not under the best of circumstances, but be that as it may, uh, that's how it fell out. So I'm going to try to put this review together uh, as a one take, kind of down and dirty, quick and easy. Uh, so keep your critiques to yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me show you why we're here today though. I'm going to turn this camera around. That, my good friends, is the blood of an English sports car on the garage of my, on the floor of my garage. My uh, XKRS seems to have a leaking issue from the rear end. I don't know, I suspect maybe the rear differential. So it's uh, in the shop, it's okay. It's uh, under a outstanding Jaguar six year CPO warranty. Still got a couple years left on that. So I'm sure that they'll take care of it, score it away. But uh, these things tend to take time. And so what was their answer? They gave me a free rental. And that rental is Sorry about the sunlight. The new 2017 Land Rover Discovery Sport. It's actually a very cool color. I looked at, actually specced out to order a Jaguar F-Pace a few months ago and had exactly the same spec. I think it was the same red with the black package. And it looks pretty similar to it. So uh, yeah, so I get to have this for the next few days and so I thought I'd check it out. First of all, I guess we'll uh, take a look at the specs and see what this car is all about. Again, we're still one take in here, so bear with me. Okay, so the 2017 Land Rover Discovery starts about $39,000. And it has, I can put this out in front of me so it looks like I actually know what I'm talking about. The difference between this year and next year, it's got a new windshield that reflects infrared rays, a cabin quality sensor, air sensor, uh, all-terrain progress control, a low-speed cruise control combined up hill descent control meant for off-road use. As before, standard equipment includes partial leather eight-way power front seats, push-button start, ambient lighting, haven't seen that yet. 18-inch uh, alloy wheels, rain-sensing wipers, powerful power folding heated mirrors. Haven't seen those fold yet. A backup camera, red parking, uh, rear parking sensors, dual zone climate control, Bluetooth, 10-speaker, 190-watt stereo, and an 8-inch touchscreen. A 240-horsepower, 2-liter, 4-cylinder, and a 9-speed automatic is the only powertrain combo along with all-wheel drive. Now, uh, I have driven this for the course of the day. I took it to my office and back. A little bit of rain on uh, the off-ramp from Murfreesboro Road. The car behind me is up to its grill. And uh, got to say that uh, I was really impressed with the amount of power a two-liter four-cylinder engine puts out. Because, uh, Feels more like a small V6 to me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the ride is comparatively comfortable for a four wheel drive vehicle. Uh, the only thing I would say is it kind of handles like an old Jeep. Uh, when going through a corner at a moderate speed or uh, just if you had to make a quick evasive maneuver, sure feels like the top's heavy. He wants to lean to that corner that they're making the that you're turning away from. But, uh, let's go check it out. We'll see what's inside. Uh, Land Rover Discovery. Sport model. First impressions. Uh, it's a comfortable driving position, although I think taller people would have an issue because right now my seat is all the way back and I feel 
just about right on the pedals, but maybe just a tad crunched. I think if you were 6'2 or 6'3, you might be wishing you had a couple more inches of room. The ride feels pretty good. It's uh, more comfortable than I thought for a all-wheel drive vehicle with a stance like this one. But uh, yeah, it feels pretty comfortable. And the two liter engine has quite a bit of pickup. I would say it probably has everything that's necessary for a for a regular driving experience. Uh, no inclement weather today, I don't think, and no off-roading today, so not really giving the Land Rover its fair shake in those categories, but for 90% of what everyone's going to use it for day-to-day -day driving, uh, seems very nice. Inside, there's a lot of plastic. I mean, a lot of plastic. The side doors, the dashboard, it may not be plastic. I'm not sure what some of this other stuff is. It's plastic-like. Uh, the seats feel leather-like. I'm not sure if they're leather or not. They may be. Um, it's Spartan, I guess would be the word for it. Uh, kind of utilitarian, not very plush. Uh, and I'm sure that the uh, the other models in the line probably come better equipped and it'll be a lot nicer. Again, this one starts about $35,000 or so. Uh, this one's probably in that $40,000 range. So I, maybe that's to be expected. Uh, the media center, still working on that. It seems pretty handy. It's a touch screen, so it's a, uh, uh, between that and the buttons, I was able to get around it pretty quick. Yeah, the rest of the controls, again, are pretty similar to the last few Jaguars I've driven, so uh, they were pretty good also. I believe the stereo system is 190 watts. It's adequate, but it's not outstanding. Uh, the air conditioning seems to keep up. Once it's caught up, it takes a little while to keep up, but again, this is the black interior, and we were dealing with mid-90 weather here in Tennessee today. Uh, the back seat's got plenty of room. The rear end's got uh, plenty of storage. And it's just kind of cool to be driving a Land Rover around. Don't you think, honey? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we actually looked at these at one time. Uh, ended up getting another car because she's more comfortable in a car. And uh, actually, I have been trying to back this up into the driveway. The uh, mirrors don't automatically flip down. It's the, the ride height is pretty high, and the mirrors don't flip down, so you can't see the edge of the driveway and the rear view camera uh, doesn't exactly tell you where you're at. The My driveway kind of curves and I have to drive through a tunnel of sorts. Uh, so I'm a little nervous about that, but uh, I'm sure I would get used to it as uh, time went on. But yeah, so this is 2017 Land Rover Discovery Sport model, uh, pretty cool. Appreciate the dealer letting me have it for a couple days. I hope it's just a couple days while they get the XKRS back on the road. So, as we close out our experience with the Land Rover, I ask yourself, what kind of guy washes and details a loan or a rental car before he takes it back to the dealer? Well, let me tell you, that may not be my normal habit, but like when someone takes care of cooling down and brushing down a fine thoroughbred after a long day's ride, that's how I take care of the automobiles that take care of me. So for a uh, Second opinion on after drive, I would say that uh, we thoroughly enjoyed this truck, SUV, whatever. Uh, we had it for the better part of a week. We ended up taking it on a little trip down to the lake with some friends. Had four people and four people's worth of luggage in it. Had a day where I drove through a flood and uh, didn't want to take somebody else's car through there, but uh, was kind of left with no option. So I did, and it handled outstandingly. Uh, the, so everyone ought to drive 
something like this for more than a five minute test drive and over the 30 degree course at the dealer. Sometimes it takes a day or two to try it out, put it through its paces and see what limitations there are and what pluses there are for it. And uh, so my final assessment of the 2017 Land Rover Discovery, red with the black package, is that uh, I enjoyed it enough that I think I'm going to take a serious look at it when it's time to trade in old dependable over there. So, gotta thank Ronnie and the rest of the folks at Jaguar Nashville for letting me have it while they were working on my XKRS, which will hopefully be back in the stable come tomorrow. And, uh, Look forward to talking to them in the future when it comes time to replace my current SUV with another one. It's going to be a tough fight between this one and the Jaguar F-Pace, that's for sure. So this is James with Bullocking Garage on a one take, signing out for the evening on a Sunday afternoon. I think I'm going to have a drink. Have a good night.